that this is literally a continuation of last week's vlog. I'm on my way to have my smear. I don't know why I feel so nervous. I think it's the same sort of nerves, you know, like if you're having a blood test or something like that, because it's not nice, you know, but it's got to be done and it'll be over and done with in five minutes. So Martin, Martin is taking me, bless him, little sweetheart. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and get it done. It's so important to get it done, ladies. As uncomfortable and awkward a situation it is, it is literally five minutes and then it's done. So yeah, anyway, I will check in with you again in a minute. Okay, I'm home now. It was only very quick. It was very uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie, but it's over and done with. She said, I will hear in two to four weeks. A letter apparently just comes here, and if I haven't heard in six weeks, then chase them. And then that's it for three years, so. Okay, so I just wanted to tag this part into the video because this is the results from my cervical screening um it's all okay and it came back in a week and my result is negative which is good and now my next screening is not due until april of 2027 and although it's uncomfortable it's yeah exactly and although it was five minutes of being a little bit uncomfortable is super super important and this is all done now it gives you a list of unusual symptoms so if you have any of these symptoms even if you've had your smear and you're up to date and everything else it's really crucial that you go and see your gp because it could mean that something's changed and it's worth getting checked out so i just thought i'd tag this part into the video just to show you how easy and simple and this is your reminder if you've been getting the letters or texts from your gp to book in for your smear please do so right this second pause me stop me whatever go and make that appointment immediately it's so so important all done Kippers and custard. So now it is just gone two o'clock. All the cakes are cooked for the baby shower. So what I just need to do is I'm going to fill them and give them a crumb coat and stack them in the fridge, create it all and everything tomorrow. But yeah, other than that, I'm going to finish doing some editing this afternoon. Martin's got to go over uh, to pick up JJ, but he's got to take some stuff over for her as well. So he's just loading up the car at the moment. And then um, when he picks her up later, he can drop it off while he gets there. And then me and the girls are going out for an Indian. Do you know what? It's so, hello Bella. It's so lovely that I'm able to have this kind of relationship with my grown up daughters. She'll carry on. Bella, calm down. As soon as I start talking. I don't know if she thinks that we're having a conversation, me and her. Because <laughs> whenever I'm talking, she's like, she's probably like, all right, mum, you nutter. <laughs> Crazy talking to yourself. But yeah, I love that I can have that kind of relationship with my girls, that like we're best friends. And that's the thing we genuinely are. Like we'll, we talk to each other about everything, literally everything. And yeah, the, the thing is, I genuinely like them as human beings. You know, sometimes when you just, you know, you think oh, you're kind of annoying or whatever. <laughs> but I genuinely, adore them as human beings i think they're absolutely wonderful women and i couldn't be prouder i really couldn't be prouder so i love that we get to like have this little bit of time and the thing is it would have been so easy with jj moving out for us to go oh you know we've got so much going on let's just reschedule but we wouldn't we we it, the time would pass 
so this is your this is your reminder or cue right now to send that text out to somebody whether it's a friend a family member that you haven't seen for a while whatever and you're you're probably like me and you're always like yeah we'll get something booked in we'll have to do this more often blah 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 get get your phone right this second pause me get your phone send the text out arrange a catch-up done it's in the it, if it's not in the diary then it will never get done that day will never come trust me anyhow i'm going to love and leave you there for now and i will check in with you when i am glammed up for my meal with my good daughters <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs>
me? Yes, yeah, me. Do you want to see? Look. Yeah. Let's turn it around this way. Say hi. Hi. So how is everyone? How is everyone? Yeah, you've not been on the camera for ages, have you? Yeah. Have you moved into a new house? Yeah. Have you got a new bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> She's not, she hasn't actually seen it yet. They've been um, doing it up, but she was asleep when Gaga went to pick them up. So you've not even seen it, have you? Yeah. You haven't? You'll see it tomorrow, won't <laughs> you? will see it tomorrow? Yeah. No, not tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah. you see it tomorrow. Mwah. Say, say good night, God bless. God bless. <laughs> good girl. because wash machines are too loud in there so I've done my list of everything that needs to be done today so light washing is in so I can complete that dark washing is going to go on next dust bedroom done that empty bins upstairs I have done that clear out fridge oh I hate that job go food shopping hate that job <laughs> I need to collect Martin's prescription my flowers in my kitchen are dead so I need to replace those. I need to hoover and mop. I need to clean the bathroom and toilet. This stuff might run into tomorrow, just FYI. I need to go over to Next and return all the items that I'm not keeping. And I need to get a birthday card and a present for my friend. So I've got quite a task on my hands today. But I'd like to say that it's good weather, but it's not. It's raining. Let me show you. Look at that, miserable. Oh, I'm turning stuff again. Miserable, miserable day. But not a miserable, miserable girl. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm very tired. I've had a full on weekend. Martin's been working and I, but, it, but it's been really productive and lovely. So, yeah, so I've got to get this, I've got to get on with this list because Lauren has her, JJ's appointment's actually been changed till next Tuesday. Another fox in the garden. Oh, it's going out again. Okay. Um, so that's enabled me to get on with some things this morning and then Lauren still has hers this afternoon so I need to get all of what I can get done especially the shopping and the prescription before needs me to have Nate for her and then just a just regular it's just regular like housewifey jobs isn't it like it's not I'm not doing anything out of the ordinary but it just sometimes it helps actually write you down because my head can especially with the brain fog my head will go, you've got, I feel like my camera's really blurry. Has it been blurry the whole time? Because that's going to be so annoying if it has. I can't do anything about it if it has, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, because my head will muddle that all up and make it seem like it's a million things rather than just however many things are on here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12 items, 12 tasks to do. It's easily doable. Yes, they all take a little bit of time and it doesn't help them sat here waffling, but they will get done. And if it's not today, then the rest of it will get done. It'll get done at some point, won't it? So it's not the end of the world. But anyway, I'm going to go get my shoes on, get my shopping bags and make sure they're in the car. They should be already in there. And then just, go, I, well, actually I'm thinking, should I just quickly clean out the fridge? Might do that one first. Clean out the fridge, get rid of the dead flowers. Let's do that. I'm going to probably do a voiceover at this part because the washing machine's at its final spin bit, so it's going to be ridiculous, but just check out how terrible this is. We do try and keep most of the big stuff in the garage fridge, but this is... You better turn up. Okay, guys, I'm 
just gonna hold my hands up this has not been done for a while it's got really cluttered unorganized there were so many things in there that was out of date and there were so many things i couldn't even find dates on that was really tricky that took me twice as long as yeah When the kids were little, I used to do this. I used to clean out the fridge every time I went shopping, so never really got in a mess, but I've just really slacked in that area lately. I love all of these containers. That's what helps keep it organized when it is organized. I feel it feels so much better already. We have far too many condiments, but I was going through them thinking I was going to get rid of half of them, but we do actually use them, so... And I'm just going to get rid of my dead flowers and wash up the vase, ready for when I go shopping and I'm going to replace them with lovely fresh flowers. Okay, making progress. Right, now I'm going to head off shopping because it's now half past ten and I need to make sure that I'm back before lunchtime. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, this is all the rubbish from upstairs and cleaning out the fridge. So I need to go and put this in the bin. Oh before I go shopping. It's a miserable day. Right, I just need to make sure I've got my bank card. Bank card voucher. Because I've got a, I'm gonna go Sainsbury's because I've got a six pound off when you spend 40 pounds voucher. So I may as well make the most of that. I'm actually so boiling right now, but it's, it is cold outside. It's only seven degrees, so. But I think because I've just done all the um, the fridge and the rubbish and everything else. But yeah, I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go and do Martin's prescription first, then drive over to Sainz, no. Yeah, I'm going to do the prescription first because if there's a problem with it, I'd rather know before. Right. prescription can't believe i got into that space that never happens honestly <laughs> could go there a thousand times i'd be lucky if i've gone there got in the parking space right near it once right i need to get my check my voucher check my, i always check double check before i go in again because i always think what a lemon anyway let's go and do this Angled measuring jar. Absolutely brilliant. It is ten pound fifty. Okay, I'm done now. Just trying to find out what the time is. Gosh, it's twelve o'clock. I need to get home and get this sorted so that I can be ready for when Lauren gets there. Um, right. Gonna go home, film this haul, and then put it all away. Ah. Okay, so now I've got to put all the shopping away and I've got, I've just put my drainer in the sink because <laughs> I needed to put the stuff on there. Right, let's just get this done as soon as possible. I thought I'd share this little tasty nugget of information with you to see if it helps change your mindset. So I was reading this Instagram post and this lady said um, 
that you need to change your mindset. So instead of saying, I've got to go shopping, I've got to do this, I've got to clean out the fridge, I've got to hoover, you say, I get to go shopping, I get to clean out the fridge, I get to hoover. And it really does change your mindset. Like it is a blessing to be able to go and buy food and flowers and fill up my fridge and I must stop complaining about these things. It's really hard, isn't it? Because sometimes, you know, that's human nature. But I think it's really important that we have those little reminders that actually it's a blessing. Right, clear out fridge, done. Go on, food you've been gone. Good one. Prescription, replace the flowers. Still got all that to do. Right. <laughs> Right, on to the next load of washing. I actually really love doing washing. I must be a real weirdo, especially, I was talking to Danita about this, especially if I have new a new fragrance like Comfort or whatever and washing powder. Like there's something really, <laughs> I just love it. I'm just a weirdo, I know. But it makes me excited to get everything washed and cleaned and put away. I'm trying to get into the habit of actually folding up the stuff in the dryer as soon as it's done because otherwise it just gets all wrinkled saves you on the ironing which i hate i roll my pajamas in pairs like that and put them in the drawer they're always together so i just grab a roll basically and that's my pajamas <laughs> As you would have seen, I did get the bathrooms done. Decided first thing this morning, I was just gonna get up and get it done. I, I had every intention of continuing it yesterday, but when Lauren come back, we were having a little catch up, just finding out everything that's going on. Baby is head down, so she's definitely not breech. They are gonna repeat a scan in two weeks, and she has to go to her, she's got a midwife appointment on Friday. Her blood pressure's borderline high. So I'm just hoping and praying that she doesn't get preeclampsia because that's what Jay got and it's not nice. So, um, well, serious. So, and that unfortunately that will end up resulting in um, her coming sooner. So anyway, prayers would be really appreciated for that. And then I was, I was pooped. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was pooped. It's that time of the month for me. And yeah, I'm just feeling a little bit sluggish. So I thought, do you know what? I need to whisper through my list. The next returns and the gift and everything I'm going to do on Thursday. Martin's going to come with me because I didn't have time to do that last night. And if I I can't, re I don't really want to do. Well, it's not that I don't want to do it. I'm not going to do that when I've got Zeke because I feel like I'd be too distracted to keep an eye on him. So I'm just would never risk it so um it's too much stuff so <laughs> it's like i can't focus on two things at once so let me give you a rundown of what i'm doing today 
having Ezekiel. So what I'm going to do, because when he comes here, the first sort of hour, he is not ready to start the day. So he usually likes to have a bit of toast and just chill out either with his iPad or I'll put a movie on for him. So what I'm planning on doing, if he's the same, if he's not, then that plan will go out the window. Um, but if he's feeling in that kind of mellow, don't talk to me kind of mood, then what I'm going to do is get him his toast, pop a movie on, I'll hoover upstairs and down here, run the mop round, and then that's my tasks done. So I'm just going to go through my list. Okay, so I did finish the dark washing yesterday. It's all folded up and everything. So I need to hoover and mop. I've cleaned the bathroom and toilet. And then these I'll be doing on Thursday. So that might not even be in today's video, but that's fine. So hoover and mop, I think I've done amazing. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat that. I'm chuffed to bits with that. And that's why I like doing a list because you can visually see all the tasks that you're meant to do and that you just get on and do. Buzzing. So I'm going to get myself coffee, cipher what this little dude's mood's like, and potentially hoover a mop. If not, then I'll do that when um, he goes home later. Did um, the, you know, the Charlie Bigham's lasagna? and some salad and coleslaw and some garlic bread last night. Let me tell you, that's really tasty. I know it only serves two people, so it's no good for a family out there. It would work out way too expensive. It'd be cheaper for you to make it on your own. But if you're just a couple, give it a try. Honestly, it was really, really tasty. I was really surprised. I really enjoyed it, actually. I've got really bad tummy cramps today. Oh, it's really bright again. The weather isn't, the weather's miserable. Oh, I need to take some painkillers. I hate it when it's like this. Oh, that's another reason why I just want to get on with it as well because I know that it's so easy. I could easily just curl up and, but then I can. I can reward myself with that afterwards. That's how I look at everything in life. Zeke's here. I'll catch up with you in a bit. But anyway. I was okay this is grim this is really grim i rarely use the microwave and when i went in it to put my coffee in this morning i was disgusted <laughs> so i've just given it a little spray and then i've just popped a little ramekin of boiling water from the kettle in there just to steam it and let me tell you everything will just wipe straight out of this I love my little hoover just yeah it's very handy probably one of the best purchases this like past year I don't think it picked it up but Bella's food's always dropped there what I love about this hoover is I can take the top part off and do the whole stairs so I used to have like a, 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 Hen, a Henry, yeah, Henry Hoover, and oh my gosh, it was so heavy, and I was trying to balance it with my legs on the stairs, so do dodgy, really. And I just quickly Hoover upstairs while I got five minutes. That's um, Zeke's little potty thing, little ladder thing, genius, really. Just quickly give the bedroom a Hoover. The carpet will be getting replaced next year when we do the bedroom. I still really love my spray mop, it's brilliant. It's just so quick and easy for those like everyday cleans. And just quickly do the bathroom toilet and then the bottom bit comes off and you can whack it in the machine. Genius. Okay, I'm absolutely sweating now. Really hot and bothered. I think that's the end of my list except for my friend's birthday card and present and taking the next stuff back which I'm going to be doing on Thursday. I'm going to wrap up. <laughs> I should have waited until I could breathe. I just popped dinner in so I'm going to wrap up today's video because 
I think it's going to be another long one and apologies if you don't like these kind of long videos just let me know in the comments and I'll try and split them up a bit I hope everyone's okay fill me in on the comments as usual what you've been up to if you don't want to leave a comment that's absolutely fine just show me that you've been there by leaving a little love heart or a little wavy hand or something and I will catch up with you all in the next video thank you so much for watching take care lots and lots of love god bless <laughs>